Hari Jang's story is amazing, yet interesting. It typifies the real meaning of person. From a charming young lady, breaking barriers in a domain that is seen as a male preserve. In a society where stereotypes still exist. It is no surprise that the country's first female commercial driver is very much on the spotlight. I'm Hari. As we know, taxi driving is a male dominating field. What motivated you to becoming a taxi driver? Well, first of all, um, the scarcity of jobs in the country, and then, um, you know, I wanted to make a difference. I wanted to show the men that it's not them that can do everything, we can equally do it. So when you came up with this idea, what was the reaction of your parents, you choosing to be a taxi driver? Well, um, they were surprised, but <laughs> my mom called me crazy though and then uh, thought that I was just bluffing until I bought the car. That was when they knew that I was really serious. For how long have you been doing this? For three to four months now. Hadi, who is only four months old in the trade, said this means everything to her, recounting how she was branded a joke by her parents when she first made known to them her desire for her newfound job. <laughs> A passenger who boarded Hadi's vehicle had this to say. Hadi being a woman and taking the risk of becoming a taxi driver is the reason why I hired her on town trip to my destination. Just to patronize her. I was a taxi driver and I was a risk to her. How does the public react to your role as the first known female taxi driver? Well, the entire public is surprised and amazed about this thing that I am doing. But they are all, you know, very encouraging and very good. Are there any challenges that you face within the male taxi drivers? No, they have been supportive and encouraging, all of them. I'm even surprised at that, honestly. At the police license department, her story with the police was an interesting one when she wanted license for her taxi. It was not legalized then, but then I hear the, I know that the president is saying that we should help the women to empower themselves or they should empower the women. So I use that on the police station, tell them, look, the president says you should empower us. So I need this, this is what I can do. Then that's why they gave me the license. What's the level of your education? Well, I'm a grade 12 graduate. I've been to school up to grade 12. That's where I start. It's more than hectic. I mean, when I close from work, my knees, my waist, my shoulders, everything is aching. But it's a very nice job. Okay. And how do you cope with your household work with this job? My household work, um, you know, I do the things I have to do in the evening okay. <laughs> when I close from work. And then, you know, in the morning, I leave it there for my sister to finish it up. That's it. And what's your working duration? I work from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. And one thing seems to keep Hadi going. It's better than sitting at home doing nothing or jumping from one office to the other searching for jobs. It's better, really. And it pays more than office jobs, you know. Really? Yes, it pays very well. The Gambia High School graduate says she enjoys the relationship between her male counterparts and passengers alike. Diligent Hadi further noted that she loves the rigors of combining her domestic work with driving, and she even looks forward to do what she loves doing, even in matrimony. 
interacting with new people every day. That is the most exciting thing. Taxi driving is known to be a male dominating field in the Gambia. But this movement is changing as ladies are becoming interested in venturing into this industry for monetary gains. Here we come in contact with a lady taxi driver. Something very strange in our country. Can she inspire other ladies to emulate her? Aisa Tujata, GRTS News.